to start off, you want to preheat your oven to 250. Okay, so you will need some little tiles. These are one by one stones. Um, I believe you can get a sheet of these at Lowe's. They come 144 on a sheet. And then I'm just gonna take my little stamp pad from Michaels and these little stamps. Um, these little stamps usually come in about a 15 pack um, from Michaels. And I like to put stamp wood block down and put the tile on top of the stamp part that has the ink just to make sure that's gonna be in the center of my stamp. And with these one by one little stones here, you will see some holes and sometimes your magnet will not fill in, um, the ink won't fill into these holes, but you can kind of take a toothpick and fill in if you would like to. Um, it's not necessary, I think it gives it a lot of character and I think that it's really pretty. So as you can see, the magnets I'm using, I mean the um, stamps that I'm using are a elephant, a sailboat, and a football for the Super Bowl because our Panthers are in the Super Bowl, woohoo! But this is a super easy project. Um, usually I like to make up a whole bunch at one time just so that I'm not wasting um, the oven and the spray and stuff. But I'm just gonna make up six for you guys here today. For the footballs, I'm actually going to press the stamp to the tile instead of doing it the other way because um, it doesn't matter kind of where the football ends up on your tile. Here are the stamped tiles before we turn them into magnets. You want to place these on an old baking sheet and put them in the oven for 10 minutes. Once your magnets have cooled down, because they will be very hot coming out of the oven, you want to place them onto a paper plate and get them ready to be sprayed. So you want to take a clear Mod Podge acrylic spray. This is in matte finish. You can get the gloss finish or any finish that you would like. And I am just going to spray all of the magnets. I'm gonna do the tops, turn the plate and get each side of the magnet just to make sure that everything is sealed in um, from dirt or from the ink smudging. So moving on, I am going to take these magnetic buttons. These are from Walmart and I'm going to take a quick grip glue also from Walmart. And I am going to flip the tile over to where the pattern side is facing down and we are going to glue on our button. I like to put a lot of glue on there so that it creeps around the edges when I push down just for an extra security um, of the magnet. So you just want to repeat that process for the rest of your magnets and then you will be done. Like I said, this is such an easy tutorial and these are super cute. They make great gifts and they look great on your fridge. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!